Hey, what's up guys? So Creality reached out to me after making the 3D printing comment. Said they'd send me a printer. They actually sent me two printers. They sent me an Ender 5 and an Ender 5 Plus to, to like review each one and compare the differences. Probably the wrong person to do that because I've never 3D printed nothing in my life. But, you know, here it is. I've opened this one. I haven't opened the Ender 5 Plus yet. I'm going to do the Ender 5 first. I'm just going to unbox it right now and then we'll assemble it. Anyway, we got a uh, guidebook. It looks pretty good. Looks like it's not going to be that hard to install the parts. Get this thing pumping out some, some prints, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm pretty creative, but I've never 3D printed. It's packaged very good. Here's the uh, control panel. No, nah, it's not a touch screen. I thought it was a touch screen. I think the Ender 5 Plus is a touch screen. So we'll get onto that. That'll be the next video probably. We'll set that right there. So here's your build surface. Um, magnetic, removable. I don't know how nice that is. I've seen a lot of reviews saying that's bad, but I think it'd be good. You build on there and break it off real easy. However, the Ender 5 Plus has the glass one. So everything I've read so far seems like the glass one's better. Don't forget to drop a subscribe down below. You know, hit a like on this video. And we get the resin printer next. Here's the top up in uh, the X and Y, I believe, is what this one is. There's the hot end. Uh, looks like a pretty good X and Y compared to this. Is a box of stuff. Looks like it's got the tools that we need in there the screws, T nuts, plug, spoil holder. Little generic USB drive. Got your computer. Uh, looks like it's got the build on the computer too. So yeah, so it's Z-axis is up and down. And X and Y is on the top. That's what I thought, but I, just, I didn't know for a fact. Got the extruder, the frame. I think it's a fairly cheap printer, but, you know, price-wise. But I think it got a lot of bang for its buck. Okay, so now we got all the parts here. You got your X and Y. You got your Z right here. Filament, we'll put that filament to the side. We don't need that right now. And they said this is an upgrade for the, whichever one I'm gonna be doing ABS with, so I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna, I might try the ABS on this one and the PLA on the other one. Cause I think this one will be easier to heat. They sent me a, a blanket heat box too, but I don't know if I use that. I'll probably just use Plexi. Um, I don't even know where it's at. It's in the garage somewhere. Okay. So, there's probably a hundred videos on how to build this. So I'm going to go ahead and build this off camera. I'm not that good to build it anyway. And then I'll get back. I might go ahead and do a time lapse of the build.
as you can see I got the plus printing now but anyway here, let me get the I printed this this benchy I printed this benchy on the I printed this benchy on the Ender 5, not the plus, the regular one. As you can see, it printed really good. Um, that was the first print. This is warm. I had it sitting on that bed. It's the first print. It looks really good. There's no, there's no lines or nothing. I mean, it's really smooth. There's no stringing. All the text is legible, even on the back. Then I printed this little weird skateboard thing. The wheels actually spin from the printed mode. Like it didn't even, I didn't even have to do nothing. They just spin right off the printer. Didn't have to put them together or nothing. And I printed this little pig. It was one of the files off of the printer. It's hot underneath there. It's a little bank. You can put money in, can't get it out. <laughs> anyway. That was the one of the files that was already on the SD card. It worked pretty good right out of the box. Um, the Ender Five was right here, printing out some, printing out a spool holder. Can't really see it, but that was good. My first impressions, uh, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, I printed a cover for the um, screen right there and a little tool holder it says real 50 on it my first impressions of the ender 5 is pretty good um, and my first impressions of the ender 5 plus is pretty good I'm gonna do the video on this one soon one thing about the ender 5 plus is it's weird you have to set the adjustment you have to compensate for the the bed no matter how level you get it as you can see i've been printing a crap load of stuff i got a whole box full of parts here well i had a whole box full of parts there i got a whole box full of parts here for the ender 5 and the plus we're gonna do a lot of mods and fix them up anyway so don't forget to subscribe down below Drop a like if you're interested in this kind of stuff. I'll put it in its own category. I'm going to do some more videos on these printers. Um, maybe I'll do some straight up printing videos where I print some weird stuff. Uh, but yeah, drop a like down below. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Drop a comment if you want me to print something weird. Oh yeah, I printed this Fortnite. The silencer pistol. I'm gonna do a whole video on this. I'm gonna make another model. This is a model that I found. I can put the link to it in the description if somebody wants it, just put the comments and I'll drop it. Yeah, I print this little stand. I just modeled this on some 3D software. Uh, probably shouldn't be setting this stuff on this bed while that's printing, but anyway. It's just a little stand to put this on the shelf. I shouldn't have angled that. I should have straightened it up. I'll probably remake it on the next version and straighten it up. Uh, and I put this down below here. I'm gonna put it on the gun next time. Let me get this out of the way for it messes this print up. It's a pretty cool little gun to print, you know. I printed a little one too somewhere. Hold on. Here's the little one. A miniature version of it. I printed this one first. See, there they are side by side. It's pretty cool though. I mean, it's a... Uh, 3D printing is pretty cool. I'm going to print a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, like I said, don't forget to like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. Let me know what to print next. And I'll do some more cool videos. Peace.